Let's be honest for a minute. Travel the last couple of years has not been easy. There have been so many more added protocols to traveling, so many more documents that you need, so many tests that you need to take, so many boxes that you need to check before you can even think about leaving home. I know that we're all thankful that we can travel again safely, but it, it gets to be a lot sometimes. And if you're like me and you like to go on cruises, I find that even more stressful. And I'm always, even as well-traveled as I am, I'm still nervous that I left something at home or I didn't check one of those boxes. Here in a couple weeks, I'm headed over to Europe to board Celebrity Cruise's brand new ship, The Celebrity Beyond. I've been so excited about it. You guys know I've talked about it now for months if you watch my videos. But just planning for that trip, I'm packing, I'm making sure I have everything in order, uh, and it's it's been a lot. So I thought that I would share with you today five essential items that you need to make sure you take if you're traveling this summer, particularly on a cruise. These protocols and these mandates and things, they're changing by the minute. They're even changing uh, by the country that you're visiting. So let's get right into these essential items that you're gonna need for travel this summer. So the first item I have is a document book. And this document book is actually one that I ordered off Amazon and I'll link that down below here. I've used this on so many trips over the past year and it's been a time saver. It's made things so much more easy and efficient. When I'm traveling, I can just pull this out of my backpack and all my documents are inside here. You can put things like insurance cards, identification, anything you might need here. There is a slot here for your vaccine card, which is now needed just about anywhere that you go. You're gonna have to show your vaccine card and you can just show it here. A lot of times you don't even have to slide it out of the, uh, the little holder here. It holds your passport, so easy access for all the things that you're gonna need. It's also good to just keep your documents stored here. If I need my passport, I know it's in this book. If I need my vaccine card, I know where it's at. I keep this uh, in a drawer and I know exactly where it is. I can go grab it and it's ready to go. I can be a little OCD when I travel sometimes and I'm like, oh no, my documents, here they are. They're in this one place. When I get my negative COVID tests and I have to prove that and show that paperwork or whatever and print that off, it goes right in here. My boarding passes, anything I need, goes in this document holder. And the best part is it's easy to pull out at customs, at the airport for check-in, at the cruise ship for check-in. Anywhere you need, it's easy to pull out, have all the documents you need ready to go. So the second essential item you need for travel this summer is masks and extra masks. Yeah, I've got a handful here and I always keep a handful in my bag. Now these are just regular K95 masks that I ordered, I think, on Amazon. But you need to check not only that you need a mask, but what type of mask you need because different countries are requiring different types of masks. So make sure that you not only know if you need a mask, but what type of mask because a lot of countries, especially over in Europe and other parts of the world, are requiring a special kind of mask before you can come in and out of their airport. Now I know that a lot of cruise lines and a lot of uh, you know airports and airplanes and theme parks, just a lot of places that you might be visiting this summer, you might say, well, they've lifted the mask mandate, right? So I don't need to take a mask. I don't need to take extra mask. But let me just remind you that it's still a very fluid situation and things are still changing rapidly by the moment. So make sure that no matter what the mandates currently are, just take some masks, take some extra masks so that you're sure no matter what mandates change, no matter what protocols uh, might come your way, that you're absolutely prepared and you're ready to travel. So similarly to the mask, uh, we can't seem to get away from COVID testing. We're still testing, you know, to get on airplanes. We're still testing to get on ships. The third essential item that you wanna make sure you have this summer is a COVID test. And I have cruised many times, I think seven times now needing a COVID test. And most of those times I have just gone to a local pharmacy or a local place in my area that's been offering COVID tests. However, it's not as easy to get tests at those places now. They're not offering as many tests as they were before, so those tests aren't as readily available. So I recommend that you get one of these EMED tests. Uh, these are a remote COVID test that you can take right at your home or anywhere, really, that you have internet access, you know, on your phone, uh, on a device that you might be traveling with. And I ordered a couple of these. They are pretty expensive, but the country in which I'm embarking, the Celebrity Beyond, they actually require that you test within 24 hours. So that only gives me a day and I'm flying internationally over there. That's many hours of that day. I have this test that will pretty much allow me to take it uh, anywhere and anytime that I might need to. Not only will it be useful if you're flying to a certain country, but it'll also be useful if you're coming home if you're a citizen of the United States, because as of the time of filming this video in mid-May of 2022, the United States is still requiring its citizens to provide a negative 
COVID test at check-in for their flight. So the day before I leave to come back home, back to the United States, I'm gonna have another one of these to take so that I can provide my hopefully negative test result to the airline and be able to get on the flight back home. So I wanna make sure before I go just to have that peace of mind that I have COVID tests, I'm gonna be able to test and get the results I need in order to both get into that international country and get back home at the end of my trip. So segueing right into number four, we talk about doing these uh, remote tests, you're gonna need internet access. So number four, you wanna ensure that you have a mobile hotspot or mobile data. You wanna make sure that you have some type of cell phone service when you're in a foreign country. And if you're like me, my cell phone provider doesn't offer any plans. So I'm gonna recommend a mobile hotspot. This is what I carry with me. I have carried it with me to several countries now. Uh, but when I went to Europe last fall, I took this for the first time. It's just a mobile hotspot. I'll also link this down below, this actual device. And through the company that I bought this device, they actually offer data plans. So I have an account with the company. I just simply go on and say, I'm buying, let's say 10 gigs of data for Europe. It's like a 30 day pass. So within 30 days, I have to use that 10 gig of data. It loads it directly onto here. And then when I get to Europe, it's very easy. All I have to do is turn the device on. It connects as a Wi-Fi device. So it acts like a, a Wi-Fi modem or Wi-Fi router. I hook my phone up to this device, which is then connected to the local cell phone towers or, or mobile connections, some kind of magic's happening there in that country, but it enables me to have Wi-Fi on my laptop, on my phone, on any of the other devices that I might be carrying with me that are Wi-Fi enabled. This is how I'm gonna be able to take my remote COVID test on the way home, because I'm gonna ensure that I have access to internet anywhere I am in Europe while I'm on my trip. And number five, the fifth essential thing that you need to take with you if you're traveling this summer is extra clothing, extra medication, extra necessities. And why the extra? You know, I know that packing can be a bit tight when you're going on a big trip, but make sure you're taking a little bit extra now. We're still in sort of uncharted waters, right? And things are changing rapidly and you just never know when we're traveling. Uh, because there are so many requirements still in place, because you still have to provide a negative COVID test in order to be allowed back in the United States, what happens if you test positive? You wanna make sure that you have a plan in place. So make sure that you take extra medication, extra clothing, extra necessities. This is my, um, the actual pill case that I take and actually load it up for two weeks if I'm going on a one week trip. So make sure that you're taking uh, extra necessities because you don't want to be caught in a situation where you can't get back into the United States. You might have to be quarantined in another country or another location. That's just going to be a little bit of stress that's lifted off of you knowing that you have everything. So those are the five essential things I'm taking with me on my trip to Europe this summer and I recommend that you do the same. Let me know down in the comments down below if you have any other things. Maybe I missed some things. Let me know. I want to make sure I'm fully prepared and we want to make sure everybody's ready to travel. Folks, no matter what you're doing this summer, I hope you have a great time. I hope you have a great trip and I hope that you'll subscribe down below to my channel because I can't wait to show you all the sites I'm going to see in Europe. I have some exciting things planned, some big things planned. So make sure you go down below, give this video a thumbs up to let the algorithm know to show you more of my content. Thank you so much for watching this video and I'll see you on the next adventure.